before we will jump right into the tutorial, I want to make a short introduction. If you need any help of me and my team, then please don't hesitate to contact us. We will help you with any technical problems with your website. Below this video, you will find our contact details. See you soon. Bye. Making a photography portfolio with WordPress should be easy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with easy photography portfolio plugin for WordPress. So let's begin by installing the plugin. Go to plugins, add new, and search for easy photography portfolio. Click on install now, and when it's done installing, you can click on activate. You are already watching the video tutorial, so I'm just going to close this message. And now let's get started. The plugin is going to try to automatically create a portfolio page for you. If that doesn't work out, it's going to try to create a page called Easy Photography Portfolio. And if that doesn't work out, well, then you're going to have to create your own page. In my case, it looks like the portfolio page is already set. So I can go to my portfolio and just double check that the portfolio settings are correct in here as well. This is the only important setting that you need to pay attention to. It's called main portfolio page. And as you can see, it's set automatically to portfolio. So I don't need to do anything else in here at all. So that means that I can start filling in content in my portfolio. So go to all entries. And here you can see my first portfolio entry is already made for me. I can either delete that or I can edit the entry. And I'm just going to edit this one. In a portfolio entry, you can have a title, a subtitle. You also have a description area for your content and a photography portfolio gallery. Now this sample post doesn't have any gallery images. So I'm going to add some right now. Now I can click on use these files and update my portfolio entry. So let's have a look at our first portfolio entry. There we go, my first portfolio entry with a title, subtitle, description, and a gallery. So let's create one more portfolio entry. To do that, I'm going to go to New Portfolio Entry. I'm going to call this entry Misty Mountains. And I'm going to give it a category of landscapes. I'm going to leave the subtitle and the description blank and just fill in the gallery. Because this is a demo, I'm going to reuse all of these images right here. Click on use these files, set a featured image. That's it. The portfolio entry is ready to be published. Click on publish. So creating new portfolio entries is really this simple. I'm going to quickly create a few more entries so I can show you how to work with categories. So now I have seven portfolio entries. Three of them are in landscapes and three of them are in dreamy collection. Now it looks like I forgot to assign my portfolio entry a category. That's okay. I can click on quick edit and just pick a category right here. And I'm going to assign my first portfolio entry to both landscapes and the dreamy collection. Let's open up the portfolio. There we go, we have all my seven galleries. And if I click on one of them, I can view all the images inside of that portfolio gallery. 
Now, what if I want to categorize my portfolio? Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add portfolio categories to your menu. To do that, let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and go to Appearance, Menus, and here we are going to create our main menu. For this theme, I'm going to assign the menu to be the top menu. And to display a category, I need to go to Screen Options and enable Portfolio Categories right here. Now if I scroll down, I have Portfolio Categories. Open that up and I'm just going to check them both and add them to the menu. I'm also going to add my main portfolio and move the categories to be inside of a dropdown. Click Save Menu. And now let's open up the site and just make sure everything works. There we go. There's our menu with our portfolio landscapes and the Dreamy collection. One final thing you might want to do is to set up your portfolio as your home page. And to do that, you have to go back to your dashboard and create one more page. And call this page blog. Click on publish. And now go to Settings, Reading. Now this option right here is going to allow you to change which page is your WordPress site going to show as your home page. To change that to your portfolio, you need to click on a static page and you want the front page to be your portfolio and you want the posts page to be your blog. That's it. Click on Save Changes, open up your home page, and there we go. A portfolio as your home page, and drop down categories in there. I hope you find the plugin and this tutorial helpful. If you do, please leave a thumbs up on the video. I hope you liked the tutorial, and if you have any problems with this, you can contact me and my team below this video. So check the links below. See you soon.